This is a Sidkin Dispatch, and it's got no power. And I've looked at the fault codes, and it's turbocharged position fault codes. So I'm going to do a few checks and see what's going on with that. Checking it out on OBD, because I couldn't see live data on the scan tool for the manufacturer side of the scan tool. I don't have much data pits, even on EOBD. But I'm looking at manifold absolute pressure versus engine speed. It looks like I'm getting no pressure from the turbo. I'm back probed at the turbo wastegate actuator position sensor because that was the fault code that I was concentrating on. And I had the 5 volts on the wire there. The center wire is 0 volts. I'm just doing a quick check to know which wire is which. And that one will be the signal, 0 0.7 volts. I'm going to try and move the linkage and see if this changes. And it does. So this changes my direction. It looks like the position sensor is actually fine. It's just not getting controlled by the vacuum. I've moved down to the vacuum solenoid and wanted to do some checks here. I am pierced into one of the wires. I want to see that it's getting power and a control of the solenoid, then I'll check the vacuum side of the solenoid, figure out what's going on. One wire's got power, the other wire has been switched on and off to give it a ground for controlling it. Another test I'm doing is load testing the wires with a noid light, just to be sure that the wires are okay. I'm going to use a vacuum pump and see what's going on with this because it seems to be getting controlled at the solenoid. So if I give it a vacuum out of the uh, solenoid where it would go down the pipe to the actuator, if the actuator moves, I know that the problem is before that, so I'm, I'm looking at the solenoid direction. Do some more checks at the solenoid. This seems to be working fine. When I pump it up and give it vacuum, coming out of the vacuum solenoid on the hose and I'm going into this actuator, it's all working fine. I've got nearly 30 inches of mercury with the engine running and that is the pipe that's providing the vacuum solenoid with vacuum. So there's plenty of vacuum there if the solenoid was working. It has to be a faulty vacuum solenoid. It must have a blockage in there and not letting the vacuum get through it. It's getting the control, plenty of supply of vacuum to here, it's just not passing it through to the actuator. Thanks for watching.